Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Grace from Diamond Paint with Grace. If this is your first time stumbling on my channel, I would love for you to stumble, stay and subscribe by hitting the little button down in, in cast your eyeballs down here <laughs> to my channel. And next to that is a notification bell, which will go ding each and every single time I upload a new video. Guys, I have you can see that this has already been opened because this was the same package that uh, the blankets came in. So this is a uh, an unboxing or an unbagging trashed bag <laughs> from Art Painting World. Uh, they have generously sent out these products for me to review. So I'm going to do that for you. I'm not going to waste any more time. I want to send some love out to the peeps out there, those that are at Patreons and those that have bought me a coffee or a love heart on the program buy me a coffee let's throw some love out to them and i will see you on the flip side come with me guys come 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 all right are we ready to get into this package are you ready? Are you ready? Ready, Freddy, Freddy? I've got unboxing after unboxing after unboxing to do. I'm not going to waste any more time and I want to get into it. Now, one of the things in here I'm going to leave. So there's three paintings. And, oh, did you see that? I hope you did it. Where's the third? Oh, there's the three paintings. There's three paintings and a, and, and I was going to say an object and a something, something in here, which we'll put aside. We'll put them all aside for the moment, I guess. And we will get all our stuff that we need. Gracie, don't pull the microphone cord too much. Uh, let's get everything that we need. And that's one of them. <laughs> we need it. We need we need him. All right. And I, you know, you know, peeps, I don't like it when things are in shot. Oi, oi, oi. You got enough light? Let's hope you got enough light. All right. Let's open up the first one, shall we? Let's open up the first one. Uh, yeah, that's going to go really well. Here we go. So it came in, in this packaging. Okay. And then, of course, they're all individually wrapped here. Now, Art Painting World, as I said, sent these products and all these wonderful items out for me to review for you guys. So let's do that, shall we? And what's the first one? Now, I remember my first unboxing from this company and the, and I can tell you that the consistency and the feel of the canvas itself is actually quite nice let's go through the toolkit well, actually before I do the toolkit just so is it ah, let's uh, wind it back on itself let's wind it back on itself so that she can relax a little bit oh there you go Whoop. We'll get to do it properly in a second. This is really annoying me. You can tell. You can tell a Virgo, can't you? You can tell a Virgo. Oi, oi, oi. So oh, I'm going to get it all out of the way. So there. I win. <laughs> all right. So toolkit here. We have some places in there, some multi-places. We've got a tray with a funnel, a pen, and, of course, some baggies on the back. Okay, so it's a pretty, and, a, and a, oh, a couple of chunks of wax in there. Can you see that? There's two big chunks of wax. Okay, so basic toolkit, which is a maze balls. Pop that aside. That's all you need, guys, if this is your first time to diamond painting. And what I like about this company is, uh, for the, well, for you more than for me, because I don't, you, I don't uh, diamond paint out of baggies, but they send their diamonds really nice in a baggie. And there's actually an inventory sheet in there as well. Before we get into that though, let's have a look at the painting. You ready? Oh, I wanna get you so that you can see betters. Would you like that? I would like that for you. So I think that's much better. Gracie, why didn't you do that? You know why you didn't do that, Gracie? Because why am I talking to myself like this? Oi, oi. No, that's not gonna work. That should though, hopefully. The things you do. All right, you ready? Uno, due, e tre. Oh, is it the right way? Is it the right way? Oh, no, it's the wrong way. It's upside down. Yes, that's better. 
Uno, due, e tre. Let's not waste any more time. She's a peacock. I only have one other peacock, which I haven't unboxed on the channel, believe it or not. It's been sitting there probably since the start of my diamond painting days. Uh, wow. So through, through the lens, it doesn't look too bad. Where, what I'm looking at, it looks a little bit more pixelated than what I would probably like. Um, and I, I can see something. Now, this is something that this company obviously is consistent with also. And that is, unfortunately, for those that do not like them. And I'm, I'm going to email them and I'm going to ask them if they can take them off at all. Uh is that they have, you'll see in a second, guide circles. But lots of colors. I'm going to get you down here in a sec. Let's have a look. Let's go all the way down. See, guide circles. So if you don't like guide circles, then I know I can appreciate if you're gonna punch out at this time, but you never know. Stick around, you might get some laughs. I don't know what's gonna come my way yet, but let's have a look at how they chart up. So I like this. Look at this. For once. One, one, two, two, three, three. Oh, bless their cotton little socks. Six, seven, eight. And then we go into the letters. D and F. G, H. The Q is a different color, which is nice. And there's not an O in sight like that. 30 colors. 30 colors. Let's have a look at the drill field itself. And it is pretty clear. I can't see anything there that would give me any cause to reach for a Kleenex, for a tissue in other words. The hashtag sign is a little bit fuzzy, but I'm not, you know, there's no light pad here at all. So, and I'm looking also, oh, this is a bit, oh no, it's just the glare. So I should do it fairly and they're pretty clear guys. The drill field is quite clear. Yep, and I'm going to say that this here is color block confetti. Majority of it is is um, confetti. There is a bit of color blocking down here. There's a bit of co color blocking here, but as you might appreciate, the what do you call them? The plumes or the feathers or I think I learned quite recently, these things are called eyes <laughs> in the feathers. You can appreciate that they would definitely be uh, confetti. Definitely, definitely. Now, what I found with this company last time and what I did appreciate immensely was that they were true to size as to pasting area. So not canvas, but actual pasting. So what you're going to be diamond painting. Okay, so let's see if that's true again this time. It says that it's a 50 by 40, so it's definitely 50 that way. And 40 that way. And I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, one of the few budget companies out there that actually does this. I'm gonna try and relocate this camera, one sec. Okay guys, hopefully that might be a little, little better. So it is a pick, now the canvas, like I said, it is, it's, it's not a stiff, stiff, stiff canvas, which is really, really nice. It feels really nice in the hand. You've got one uh, legend just on this side, nothing on this side. However, in our diamonds, let's have a quick look-see. Let's have a quick, quick look-see. I like the way they pack them. It's always a struggle when they're in baggies. However, let's do it. Guys, we are in work from home orders at the moment, so please mind my nails. <laughs> we do get, now I'm going to put here, I should have done it anyway, but I'll put here, whilst I'm flapping my arms around, what this looks like on the website so that you can have a look. But you do get also the thumbnail on here in addition to an inventory sheet. So you get the number, um, what it's 
what the symbol is okay or what the symbol is here beg my pardon so they tell you the number of um, diamonds here a duplication of the symbols here but then they colorize them there colorize them is that a number is that a, is that a word <laughs> the color the DMC how many you should expect and how many are in um, packed in each bag my goodness everything um, down to the weight and then um, I'm, I'm assuming that's the weight or maybe that's 0.8 of a bag you get 0.8 of that to give you that maybe that's the way it goes and then um, how many bags you get so definitely this part here I can cut out and use to kit up now the diamonds themselves just to quickly get them out really nicely bagged up and working with a lot of my favorite colors obviously I'm not going to get them all pretty in the bag here again but let's zoom you in so that looks like, yeah, and they've got DMC codes on them as well. So 939. It's going to be a forever movie. Movie? Movie. It's going to be a forever um, video if I do them so slowly. But you can get a really good idea of the colours that you will be working with if I do it like this. What do you think? What do you think? And I love it that there's like a whole bunch of purples in here. And for those of you that like working out of baggies, you're in heaven. You're in heaven. The um, order came relatively quick as well. Yeah, you can see that they've got the weights on them. So they are, even though this, like a full bag would be 500 of them, they've actually counted them out. So really, really interesting. Um, and, and attention to detail purples i mean you've got i love these colors you know guys these colors here i love working with them so 550 so you got a bunch of purples and those sort of colors work really really well on a you know, on the what do you call it gracie on the color wheel if you know you if you know how to work with your colors i'm just going to shove them all in there for now because you know it ain't gonna happen i'm gonna pop it aside i'm gonna check for stickiness and then we're gonna open the next one we've got to keep them together so let's have a look as i said from oh did you yeah we saw the drill field from out here like from the drill from the screen where you're looking from the viewfinder it doesn't look too bad okay it actually i think this will be one to trust the process and it will come out fine and it looks to be in the it's difficult to ascertain i'm gonna say it looks like it's a mixture of the old and the new style printing and i'll explain to you my my reason see this here see the d how it's very squared off here but then you go to the ends here and they're soft around Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. Is there such a thing as a mixture of the two? That's just glare, so don't worry about that. I'm going to hedge my bets and go that this is the newer style printing where it's not so pixelated looking. But you can see you're going to have fun with your confetti in here. Lots of fun, lots of fun. All right, so that's our first painting. Pop that somewhere, somewhere. Where I can easily grab it. Where did I throw the other two? Okay. Oh, oh. Let's go with this one. Okay. So let's pop that to the side. And let's have a look what this one is. Can you guess? Who's good at guessing? <laughs> Who's good at guessing? This one's a bit squish squish. Look at this. Look how squished because the diamonds are all squished up here. Thankfully, this is the style of canvas though that hopefully it should work out. Now, I'm not gonna do the toolkit each and every single time, okay? But you do get enough, you should get, if you're new to diamond painting, you should get a toolkit per painting. And sometimes you get spoiled and you get uh, a couple. Sometimes you get spoiled and you get a couple. But I'm definitely, I like this company, okay? now. 
do your due diligence and make sure that there's not licensed artwork on there, okay? Um, we've got our inventory and diamonds here. Let's turn it around. You ready? Uno, due, e tre. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna say this one's a little bit pixelated. This here looks all right. It's this here that worries me. Yes, it's, it's, it's supposed to be the opposing peacock. So when I fit them both together, you'll see what I mean by that. Um, yeah, that's, oh, that's, mmm, Gracie, Gracie, I don't know. I might be able to work with it and, and make it look right, I suppose. Um, this is, again, another 50 by 40. There's 25 colours. This, and looking at the colours, you can see straight off the bat, it is all your greens and purples and aquamarines. It's just this that's bothering me because this I can see would work out once the diamonds are laid out, okay? I can see that working out. And perhaps, you know, I'll put here what the original artwork should look like. But I'm kinda thinking this is just a little bit too, it could work, it might work. Ah! Don't you hate it when it's like, do you just trust the process and give it a whirl and see how it flies? Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, but I'm loving this. That's what, oh, I'm loving this. And of course, you've got your diamonds in here. I don't want to take these all out either. And looking at them from here, the diamonds, they do look faceted. They look shiny and all the good stuff. But I'll sh let's have a look and see. Really nicely packaged. I like this packaging. It is really nice. For a budget company, for a budget company, they do really well. Um, see, that's the... Th uh, see, even here, and I'd be curious to know when I go on the website and I bring up the picture, is it going to be as... Maybe it's supposed to be not as clear. That's interesting. Let's have a look. Let's scoot you down here. And let's have a look at this legend together because you know I like to do this with you guys. So again, we're working with numbers that are numbers. Oh gosh, thank goodness. I love that. So the C and the D, they're different colors, which is good. F, G, H, J, K, N. There is a Q. That's S, T, U, V, W, X. Color selection and key coding, pretty good, pretty good. I'm not, you know, and then just to give you an idea, again, this has got guide circles. Bit of color blocking, but again, you can see, I like it that these color circles are actually, believe it or not, I prefer them to be, and they're mixed, I suppose. You've got some guide circles that are uh, white and then others that are black. But they're thin. And that is the plus. They, look, they probably look very dramatic through the viewfinder. But I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. They are actually really, really faint. Honestly, they really are. You will not see them. Well, I don't think you will anyway. In my personal humble opinion... And just to give you an idea without taking them all out, because these ones are pretty and you can see, look, there's not one red, not one orange. Um, they are literally every shade of green and teal and all the good stuff that's in there. Oh, gosh, this is a gorgeous colour. Oh, this one I have to get out. Oh, my gosh, this is divine. What's that? 3808. Look at this colour. Wow. And I can tell you that looking at them, the few things that I do comment on is that they don't appear dirty, they don't appear dusty, and they don't appear oily, and they don't appear 
to be staticky. So they're the things that I can give you, and that's out. Of, that's two out of two out of two um, that have come that way. Twenty-five colors that matches. Twenty-five. Z P H O five zero. Okay, so these all match. So that's really nice. I'm gonna pop these aside, guys, because I don't want to ruin how pretty this package is. See how pretty, 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 pretty. And aside from that, I've got to label it and put it aside, put it away with all my others. So that's the second of the three paintings. I'm, mm, I'm in two minds. I'm in two minds. But you can see where I was going, yeah? So one and two. Or one and two. So kind of a set, but not really a set. Interesting. Because it's got a lot of the shades, only this one doesn't have any of these reds or pinks. However, however, you want to see something, something? You want to see what the third one is? I bet you you won't see this one coming. I bet you you won't see this one coming. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay. Toolkit. Yeet. Bags and drills and diamonds and all the fun stuff. Now, when selecting these off the website, I wanted to... I did so because I wanted them to be a set. You know how I do my sets. And I thought this would go in the middle of the two peacocks. Okay. Let's have a look. You ready? You ready? You ready? Uno, due, e tre. Hmm. This looks familiar. <laughs> this looks slightly familiar. Who has seen my previous unboxing? It was a different word, but in the same sort of format. Ah, you follow, follow? You following? So this, because it is actually very big objects, okay, even the key here, even the butterfly and the flowers here, even for the size, thank goodness, thank goodness, it is, oh, they are all actually very sticky. They are actually all very, oh, ah! There we go. Home. So the idea was to have the two peacocky pictures on either side. See what I mean? So when I kind of visualized it, it would be the three because I think that all three, see these colors are in here. So this picks up this and then you've got this which picks up this. Okay, and then you've got this neutral background which breaks up both of them. See where I was kind of going with that. Anywho, the one that I had gotten with the other word in it, which I believe was the word love, was a much bigger canvas. Would I have liked this in a much bigger canvas? Yes, but am I disappointed with this one? No. So, whilst I have a look at or crack open into this. Let's have a look at what the original one looks like here. And you can see for yourself. I like the I like the paintings that have got, you know, home or welcome or just punchy one word titles, if that makes sense. I like it, I like it, I like it. So we'll have a look at the drill field in a minute, but this one here, see that? Pretty, pretty, pretty. And I like, you know, home key. It's got that timber fence background. I like it. 30 colors. We're going to have a look at the drill field together because I want to show you up close and personal. I'm not going to open these out. But again, another thing that I like about this company is consistency. Have you noticed? Three, can three paintings, all three. Packed the same, 
same style of packaging for their diamonds. You get your inventory. The, the uh, tool kits are all the same. Bang, 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 bang. Yep. That, to me, is important. You know, I don't know. It just... I've, I've done enough unboxings for, the, from, for these... Um, an array of budget companies. And very rarely, out of one unboxing with multiple parties, will you get that consistency right across. This company... This is the second time that I've unboxed paintings, the third video that I've done for them because the first video was their blankets that I did and then the one prior to that was two paintings of the two feathers and you can go back and have a look at those or if I remember, I'll link them down below. Okay, but it's been consistency right across with their, with their packaging, okay, stickiness, true to size on their canvases, okay, and your inventory sheet and everything. Okay, if I can get them, if I can swing this company and let them know that guide circles are, I, they're just like so 2020, <laughs> uh, then uh, maybe they might drop them, but we'll see. So again, I think if they're going to stay true to form, yep. Their key coding, oh, not one, three, ten. Look at that, not one. Their key coding is also consistent, okay? There's a lot of glare there, but there you go. You can see the C and the D could have been done a little bit better on this one. The G's lighter anyway. The Q's dark. And then we go all the way down and then we get into some symbols down the bottom. Whilst we're here, let's have a squizzy at the drill field. That hashtag. Yeah, it's a little, you know. Always comes out fuzzy, that one. But um, from what I can see, because I'm looking at it, where you are and I'm even looking at it without a light pad underneath and I'm looking at it guys and she's pretty clear um, you know I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie the two and the ampersand might be a little bit funny there but I like that I'll, I'm gonna collect all of the ones with the timber background just so that you know okay I'm on the hunt so I've got two of them unfortunately not in the same size but it doesn't matter doesn't matter, I don't care. And I know there's a few of them out there, so I'll be on the hunt for them. And here, to Gracie Gracie bling bling this, I'm definitely going to be doing the key here, okay? And I will be throwing something in the flowers down here and the flowers up there for sure. I'll be uh, putting some Aurora Borealis diamonds in those because I want the background to remain true to its timber feel. So I don't want to bling. Sometimes leaving bling bling out is a good thing, okay? Um, confetti, you would think that the background is all one color, but it's actually not. It is actually not. There's a lot of confetti in there for you to play with. So they're the three paintings. They are the three paintings. The three paintings. Did we have a look at this? Did we even open it? Did I open it? I can't remember. Does it look like I've opened it? Did I open it? I, I'm not going to stop the video to find out. I'm pretty sure I opened it, but just in case, really quickly. Just in case. Yeah, see how, how pretty is that? I'm pretty sure I did. 30 colours. And it's got the code up here, 051, 051. Interesting. I think all of these were in consecutive order then. And I, just happy accident, picked them all as a set to go together. Yay me. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. Now, let's put this nicely together. And you can see the diamonds, the colours again. Of the three of them, this one here is definitely my favourite. Definitely my favourite. These two, out of these two, I think this one is my favourite. And then the third. But there and again, 
we've been surprised by four, by four, by four, before. <laughs> and it's a case of trust the process. If this comes out, can you imagine how spectacular that is going to look? Just how beautiful that's going to look. I'm trying to get the angle right. There you go. I mean, you can see that the, the, the shape of the beak and yeah, look, it is there. It's just, you know what? I'm almost tempted to diamond paint this first. Just so that I, if, if this comes out, then I'm good with the rest. The rest will come out. That much I know. That I'm confident of. That much I'm confident of. It's just here. He's, he's a little schnozzy. <laughs> All right, so there are our three paintings. Let me pop these aside and let me get out what I what else I have to show you. All right, so I've kind of left it, the poor little thing in here. I've left it in here and I'll take it out. And you've seen one before and it was unboxed not long ago and it's part of my quest for the perfect storage system. system. <laughs> this is, well, let's see if it's um, consistent in quality, if it's consistent in, um, in everything else. So this one here is Paris. It's the pink one. So... Some of you may recall that I had unboxed this one previously on a previous um, on a previous video. Okay, what I'm curious to know is: is this going to be consistent? Being from a different company um, and a different color, let's see quality and all of that. Okay, also means that. I'm lucky enough to have both a pink and a blue one. So this one, gorgeous. Again, look at that. Look at that sparkle. And that's indented. What do you call it? It's like it's 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 really sparkly, guys. And this is don't ask, don't ask me what beautiful hail means. But it's putty. It's got little postage postage stamp. <laughs> it's got some flowers here and a beautiful butterfly. I mean, giant butterfly compared to you. <laughs> <laughs> Eiffel Tower, but you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna fuss too much. Little bit benty benty here, but that's okay. Let's have a look at the stitching. This looks like it's silver, as in metal, but it's oh let me feel. Yeah, no, it's I'd say it's plastic coated, okay? But let's look at the stitching really closely, okay? It is stitched up really well. And it comes, again, as like the other one with the four feet down the bottom so that you can put it down on your table, okay, and know that this will be protected because it'll be lifted by the feet. You've got a jewel zip, okay. Two zips, really strong clasping here and nothing on the back. But look how pretty, how glitty, 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 glitty. <laughs> Let's have a look. Now, uh, uh, okay, perfect. So it is consistent. The inside is exactly the same. It has got that lip, is that leopard? Is that a leopard? I don't know. That big cat fur look. I think that's leopard. I don't know. It's not a tiger. Tigers have got stripes. I don't know. That cat look, yeah? <laughs> So it is oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 28, 7, 4 is a 28, and 56. So it is consistent in that respect. You've got the two that can come out like so, and you can have these sitting next to you if you want, or you can leave them in here if you want as your diamond painting. And there are two different sizes. So whilst this one has got a wider, a wider girth, it's actually shorter in height, see that? And if you want to know um, the how much these holds and everything, as I said, I'll link down below the unboxing to the blue one because I've, oh, no, see, I've mucked that up. I've already gone through that again. But they all, these sit in foam. So I'm gonna try and turn and see, their little bottoms are underneath, okay? 
and they sit in this foam holder so that you can pick them up and take them out as you need. What I also like is that they come with these round stickers. One's flown off some, oh, there, there it is. You could have told me, peeps. You could have just told me, yeah. Which, these will be getting numbered up as numbers, so one through to whatever. And then, yeah, it's an ongoing conundrum about these because they don't hold a lot, but I'm going to work it out so that my brain deals with it for reasons that I've gone in before, in that, you know, if I'm going to have permanent stickers on these, the number one that I'll use a lot of diamonds for in this painting may not necessarily have a lot of diamonds in the next painting, which means, you know, if I if I use one here and then the next painting I need to use a one here and it's already labeled, it's just a right old mess. Unless these come off easy and I re-sticker and re-label and all the rest of that good stuff. But I really, really like these containers and you know, if you want to take this top part out and use these for your special diamond storage, you can do that as well. Okay, and that will then leave room on the top if you want for all your, if you've got bags of diamonds that don't fit in here for the first time around, you can just sit them on the top and take this out because you're going to have all that, see this space here? You're going to have, what's that, about an inch? I don't know, about an inch-ish. Maybe I'm oversizing it. Three quarters of an inch of space and all that surface area to put stuff in there and put it away. And that that's already kitted up. And these, as I said, if you're smart, well, not if you're smart, that's just rude, Gracie. Don't speak like that. If you're wanting a different idea is what I should be saying, you can use these to store special diamonds. Okay, and you can stack these up one and if you if you end up with multiples of these. Okay. So I really like that. I'm glad that it's consistent in the quality. Okay, I'm to and I'm glad and I'm also see how I'm closing it. It's not falling out. It's a really tight fit in there, so it's not going to collapse out. Okay, so that's gorgeous, and it's pink and it's you know putty Eiffel Tower, Eiffel Tower. So although I didn't do a comprehensive, comprehensive. Um, you know, how much it holds and all of that sort of thing. As I said, if you go back to the one that I did on the blue one, which which I believe you, this is also available at Art Painting World as well. Um, but for those that like the pink, okay, for those that like putty, for those that like the flowers and all of that, knock yourselves out there. Is that available as a storage solution? So guys, that is my video for today. Thank you so, so much, Art Painting World, for sending these out to me. I would love to know your feedback, guys. As I said, I've told you my favourites. Feel free to tell me yours. And I would absolutely love, love for you to leave me an emoji of something French, either a flag or the Eiffel Tower or whatever emoji is available there for you. I'd love for you to leave me an emoji of that. I would like to thank Art Painting Dining World. I think I've already done that. I think I've already done that. So with all that being said, with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Wherever you are in your part of the world, look after yourselves, look after each other. It is so, so, so important. Have each other's backs, okay? Have an amazing rest of your day, a fabulous rest of your week. I'm going to send you all much, much love, okay? And until then, ciao, ciao for now.